hey guys welcome back to xamarin guys so in this tutorial we are going to create bindable expanders inside our xamarin forms application so we are going to bind all the items from our view model towards our expander so in order to integrate expander inside our xamarin forms application we should be on latest xamarin form version that is 4.5 and above so my Xamarin Forms project is of 4.6 version as of now. So at first we are going to set flag as expander experimental and in further projects after some incrementation of Xamarin Forms version uh, you don't need to add those flags. So at first we are going to set bindable expander.xaml page as our starting page you can see over here then here i have created one stack layout and then then that stack layout has find items as its item source it's like a list view which has item source property so if you have proper understanding regarding list view here expander is a control that is placed inside data template just like a list view then this find items is going to give you all the source content and this is the body section of that expander so here we are going to create nested expanders that means our headers are going to be different you can see over here and bodies are too going to be different so the body is associated with specific headers that is apple and these are the headers of that body section so same will be followed for grapes as well as orange section you can see over here we have image source 1 image source 2 image source 3 that are get getting binded from find items and this find items will be same as that of uh, the top one find items so we are going to get all our source contents from our view model we know that so let's bind our view with our view model that is binding context equals new bindable expander view model so this is the exact place from where we are going to send all the expander contents towards our binding expander.xaml that is our view so at first you can see over here i have created one model class as exp items that is expander items so this view model gets inherited from bindable object so that we don't need any property changed now you can see over here find item is a observable collection of exp items this find items name should be same as here public list of exp items details as find items so this is the header that is going to be different and the find items will be like nested expander items so these are all the individual components that will be added to that specific header so this find items name so you can see here the find item name is same as this name so don't try to change that name as it will throw some issues so you will be using this find item name as it is now whenever this view model is triggered then this method is going to be called then we are going to associate this find items name with a new observable collection of that object model then we are going to add that specific object with header then you can see over here the headers are different now we'll add each list view with objects you can see over here the find items has specific objects to be added now here inside the new list of that object model we are going to add items as image source 1 image source 2 image source 3 as well as body title as test so that it will be displayed as like a nested items that's all we'll be adding all our images inside resources folder of ios and drawable folder of android i'll give this project in my videos description below you can grab the code over there that's all for this tutorial now thank you guys thanks for watching keep in touch for next tutorials